In this video, we are going to see the Python client library for Mistral AI. So previously in the course, I show you how you can create a Python script in order to query uh, Mistral AI server. But the thing is like, it was kind of from scratch. And there's um, a Python library which has been developed for Mistral, which is going to help you make things faster. And as well, uh, which you get some examples, so you can uh, find them over here. But basically, in order to get started, we just stick to this uh, documentation. Unfortunately, or at least as I think you need a lot of time when the documentation is written over here, it's written with a high context. So it implies that you're already uh, coding, which maybe that's not the case. So. Uh, the first thing to know is that before um, running this, this command, well, you should of course have uh, Python installed, which may not be the case. Of course, you need to have Python installed. And then in order to run this in general, uh, your computer may tend to say no unless you have what you call uh, a virtual environment. So to say that's a place in which you can install any version that you want without getting any, um, how to say, any conflict with uh, other version. So when you take your uh, terminal, such as the one I have over here, uh, the first thing that you do is like, you create your um, environment by running the following command, which are, um, Uh, Python uh, dash m v n n, and then once uh, you do so, then you can uh, perform the m v n uh, environment in order to be able to. Oh no, sorry, Python three m v n n, and then source and bin activate, and then as a result, you will move from a folder to an environment in itself. Then if you run as the script it is, uh, you will see that it's going to tell you, hey, there's an error because you have not defined the OS part. So the OS part, in order to have it, you need to tweak your script and to add import OS. So to say, if you look at the following documentation, they forgot to mention that over here, you need to import another library, which is the OS one. Uh, next big thing, if you run the script as it is, you will see that there's a conflict over here. They will tell you that the Mistral API key is not um, informed. So to say, if you copy and paste your Mistral API key over here, it's not going to work. And in order to do so, you need to export uh, your variable uh, like this with an export, which is going to be uh, over here. You need to perform the line, which is export Mistral API key, then your API key, and then you can finally start to execute the script. So here, the example script that they give you is uh, what is the best franchise. So I'm going to say what is the best Dutch cheese in order to change a little bit. And then you can perform uh, your script action by just calling Python 3, because in my case, I have Python 3 installed, then chat completion.py. Then you're going to have the request, which is made to the server of Mistral AI in order to display the answer afterwards. If you succeed to do it uh, properly, then what you can do, okay, let's look at the answer. The Netherlands is known for the high quality chain, the best one can do, blah, 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 the most the city, okay. So here, I'm happy with the answer I wish. Um, Order them by uh, order them from one to three as the let point list. Okay. And as you can see, it's going to make the same result as we would have expected with uh, the user interface. Um, and you see Gouda, Edam, and Leiden. So so far, it's working well. So now, if you would like to move forward, in fact, you can go back over here and then take the official um, examples, which are listed here, and start to play with them in order to really kind of understand about how useful it is to use the Python library in order to uh, start to query uh, other things and, and leverage the power of Mistral AI with Python. 